this program father mysteriously let the problem be taken away a person having post cancer i cancel be healed in jesus name the one having diabetes and constant urinating i cancel be healed in jesus name that person that be coughing and kata, I can't so be healed in Jesus' name. The person that be having stomach ulcer and also somebody having pains in the stomach. In the name of Jesus, I cancel those problems. That headache that always occurs, sometimes it comes and goes. I cancel that headache and I pray for you whatever the devil has brought to weaken your organ your private organ I command that weakness be healed and I pray for you that your mouth that is smelling I cancel whatever the devil projected in you and you that people are ganging up against you against your family i disorganize them i pray for victory over them in jesus name whatever be the fierce battle you are going through in life i pray god will give you victory and you whatsoever you have lost i come and restoration in jesus name let that abandoned project be finished this night in jesus name and i pray for you bleeding let the bleeding cease bleeding cease in jesus name the leg poison i caused it let dry up in jesus name and I pray for you. No, whatever the doctor said concerning your heart, it is a lie. I pray that your heart remains perfectly well in Jesus' name. All that shortness of blood, I pray that you be feed that oppression or hyena i cancel it the oppression of hyena you're protected in jesus name my daddy i break the yoke of delay in marriage father i pray visit this lady well wonderful husband this year in jesus name and i cost that high bp I command the BP to return stable, return normal in Jesus' name. My daddy, whatever that is making this person afraid, I cancel that evil. I command faith to come upon you instead of fear in Jesus' name. My daddy, touch them one by one. I cancel that quick notice that they, I pray intervene in Jesus name whatever they projected in this person causing internal hotness for the body let it dry up now the HIV positive one and two be canceled in Jesus name my daddy bless my people what to determine this year concerning my people shall be done and as i speak we are warned now that he show them who you are and at the end bless them mightly today tomorrow in jesus name holy ghost take over bless everyone shall we get seated Turn your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Please open your Bible. I read Genesis 18 
from verse 9. Look at this, chapter 18, from verse 9. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee, according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had thee in the tent door, which was behind him. Now, Abraham and Sarah were old and were stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am was old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety be a child? which am old, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah thy wife shall have a son. Now look at Genesis 21 and verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. And the same time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old. As God had commanded him, and Abraham was an a hundred years old, when his son Isaac was born unto him, and Sarah said, God had made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. In the book of Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9, Isaiah 46, reading verse 9, please look at your Bible, Isaiah 46. I read from verse 9, and it reads, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no age. I am God, and there is no like me, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Now, look at verse 11. Calling a rebellious bird from the east, the man that executed the cow, my counsel from a far country. Yeah, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it, I will also do it. And look at Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1, I read verse 37. Luke, Gospel, chapter 1, and verse 37. For with God, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Now, verse 45. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And so from this chapter, some verses, I'm bringing to you the theme of this program. What God has determined shall be done. We are looking at part three. What God has determined shall be done. Yesterday, a father in heaven has begun to prove that he has the final say. Even from day before yesterday to yesterday, he has begun to prove to us that he has the final say. And his plan or purpose must be fulfilled by what he did in the life of everyone that were in this uh, two days program, I mean past two days. And 
especially on those who testified yesterday and even before this message you had some things some mysteries that god did some wonderful miracles so we rest assured that what he has determined for us in this program and even this year shall be done are you hearing me so one thing that is very certain it has determined to be with us throughout this year it shall be done and bless us throughout the year god will be with us and bless us throughout the year and i'm assuring you it shall come to pass if you believe in say amen remember my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure if you look at the book of isaac chapter 43 i read verse 13 isaac chapter 43 reading verse 13 and it reads 43 and verse 13 yeah before the day was i am he and there is none that can deliver out of my hand i will walk and who shall let it who can revise the work of god who can hinder god this year be rest assured the lord will bless you through the 365 days in jesus name so today he has determined to bless us and we shall surely be blessed you everyone no matter the problem you brought in this program or your expectation your expectations the lord will surely see you through today and you will go home rejoicing in jesus name and so for better understanding and benefit in this message which i consider the flowing some headings i'm going to be very brief our limitations our limitations and necessity of his guidance to our response and the confidence let's go to point one one our limitations and necessities of his guidance human beings are truly limited in many areas we are limited in life and even in lifespan in this world we are limited on what to do or things we do we can do all things the things we are limited in sight what we can see nobody can see tomorrow are you hearing me nobody can tell what will happen through in the i mean this night or tomorrow we cannot see our back we are limited in what we hear we can hear everything we are limited in wisdom we are limited in power none of us can tell what tomorrow holds or what will happen from now to the end of the year nor can we confidently tell the plan of the devil and enemies of god against us none of us can be able to explain that but there is nothing to worry about are you hearing me we are limited but we have the unlimited god are you hearing me i want you to understand that our father can do all things and with him i'm assuring you victory is definite success is definite with him behind us we shall succeed this year are you hearing me we shall make it this year in jesus name so there's no cause to fear or worry all i'm assuring you the lord will see you through if you believe it say amen don't forget he said i will walk and who shall let it can the devil hinder him and sammy can any man revise the work of god he see you god will finish the work if you believe it say amen 
Look at your Bible. In the book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Matthew chapter 19. Reading verse 26. Please look at your Bible as I read. As we read Matthew chapter 19 and verse 26. It reads. Verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. How many? From A to Z. So, no matter your limitation, as long as you join yourself to the Almighty, I'm assuring you, you shall be unlimited. God will see you through. And through him, you can do all things. You can have all things in Jesus' name. Look at your Bible. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 says, Romans chapter 8, verse 31. And I read, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Answer me. Who? Who? Look at verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us how many things? All things. I'm assuring you, as long as God is with us this year, we shall overcome. We shall succeed. We shall make progress in life. We shall be victorious. As long as God is with us this year, I'm assuring you, whatsoever you are looking for, God will do it for you. The Lord will give it to you. So, if you look at Philippians, look at your Bible. Even before I read that place, there is something you need to understand. We need his presence, and I told you he will be with us. Am I right? He will be with us always. And so, we need his presence always. Because it's the only one that knows the future and I can do all things and give all things. We need his presence always. And as long as he is with us, as he has promised us and guided us, all things are granted. No matter what you are looking for, I'm assuring you, God will do it for you. Do you believe it? And we shall never make mistake. He see this year, God will guide us to victory. He see this year, God will preserve our going out and coming in. He see this year, God will fight all our battle. He see this year, we shall never stumble. We shall never walk in darkness in Jesus' name. If you look at your Bible in the book of John chapter 8 verse 12, John chapter 8 verse 12 look at your Bible and I read John chapter 8 and verse 12 then speak Jesus again unto them saying I am the light of the world he that followed me shall not walk in darkness but I have the light of life he see you throughout this year you shall never walk in darkness you will never stumble honestly as you walk in the light i'm assuring you that victory is definite are you hearing me you will possess your possessions in philippians chapter 4 verse 19 philippians chapter 4 verse 19 he said but my god but my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus I don't know what you need this year my friend God has supplied them to you God is equal to the tax it is, he is the only one that can do and undo he is the omnipotent God he is the Alpha and Omega he is the beginning and the end is the almighty he is the great provider is the miracle working god what man cannot do for you he will do it for you are you hearing me he holds listen to me 
he owns the future and also i want to let you know that everything about the future of every human being is in the hand of god are you hearing me he determines our future are you hearing me and i'm assuring you that whatever god has determined shall be well done he will do it and nothing can hinder him so as for you this year i'm assuring you god will guide you to victory god will guide you to throughout 365 days this year and i'm assuring you that whatever you are looking for god will supply them to you do you believe it i say he will do what he will do and that unhindered remember the bible made us understand he visited sarah at the same time as he had said what god had determined shall be done all the promises that god has made to me and to you my friend at the appointed time will oh, bring it to pass do you believe it i said at the appointed time as god put laughter and joy in the family of abraham god will do it your family and at the appointed time isaac was born he see you very shortly isaac shall be born in your life your miracle is on the way he see this year all your all those people that are contending with you they will never see your back you you will overcome you will bypass them you are moving on to victory and heaven at last in jesus name so from this year's program whatever he says and god shall say concerning you shall be done no one can question him or ask him why because he's the great king are you hearing me he is the king of kings if you look at the book of ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 ecclesiastes chapter 8 let's read verse 4 look at your bible one thing is certain he is the king the mighty king and his word shall never go unfulfilled chapter 8 verse 4 ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 where the word of a king is there is power and who may ask him who may say unto him what doest thou who can question the king of kings if the word of a king of the earth has power then the word of the king of the universe has the overall power everything that he says and everything that he's going to say in this program nobody can hinder it are you hearing me it must surely come to pass it see you god is going ahead of you 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 remember my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure let's read that place again let's read it before we move forward i'm just rushing it because i want to close close you on time in the book of um, isaac chapter 46 verse 10 look at it it says declaring the end from the beginning can you imagine god who from the beginning he knows and sees the end he can tell you what will happen at the end of this year are you hearing me god can tell you what will happen from now to the time you leave this world are you hearing me therefore god almighty whatever he said concerning you shall be done are you hearing me now look at that place he said declare the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done say my counsel shall stand 
and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a revenous bed from where? I'm coming from the east. From where is the bed coming? A revenous bed. Let us see more description of that bed. And he said, look at it very well. The man that executed my counsel from where? Far country. From here to Israel is a far country. And I'm assuring you that everything that I shall speak, because I'm here to declare the counsel of the Lord, it shall surely come to pass your life. If you believe me, say amen. So get ready. He said, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it, I will also do it. He see you. What God had determined. I, I hope you are not sleeping. What God had determined. Yes, that is God for you. The assurance I'm giving to you. Every statement that I've taught you on the first day, second day, whatsoever I shall speak here, word of promise and the, the prophecy or word of knowledge, that all the counsel of God, they shall be done. Everything I shall say concerning you must surely come to pass. So get ready. I'm assuring you today I shall speak on your behalf. And it shall be. I didn't hear you. What happened? And it shall be. I told you when I'm robbers come to make their noise, wave their gun, say, I am a chosen. I say it three times. And then you will see that the armed robber will surrender. But if you go ahead to make any nonsense, say, The God of my pastor, where are you? And then go ahead and collect the gun. I want to ask you a question. Is he walking? Is he walking? Please bear me with me. Is he walking all over the world? In America, it worked. In Philippines, it worked. Everywhere. In Nigeria, in Africa, it worked. He's walking. So, my counsel, what I say concerning you, shall be done. And so, get ready. Because. I know that the time has come for the choosing people. Choosing people, you shall reign as kings and priests. In the mighty God of heaven in Jesus' name. So, if you look at Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12. And I read Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. God will watch over his word, which I speak here to bring them to pass. So get ready. He has promised to guide us in planning and executing a project this year. And I'm assuring you, he will bring it to pass. Are you hearing me? In the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Hebrews chapter 13. I read verse 5. Look at your Bible. Hebrews 13 verse 5. And I read verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such. Be content with such things as you have. For he had said. I will never leave thee. No, forsake you. You see, this year, God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. You see, this year, God shall be with you. And it must surely come to pass. In Psalm 32, verse 8, Psalm 32, verse 8, look at your Bible. Psalm chapter 32, I read verse 8. And it reads, 32 and verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. 
I will guide thee with my eyes. You see this year, the Lord will instruct you. The Lord will teach you the way you should go. The Lord will guide you with his eyes. And no evil is come upon you in Jesus' name. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. Isaiah 58, reading verse 11. Look at your Bible. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 11. And the Lord shall guide thee. How long? Are you there? How long? Please look at your Bible. How long will the Lord guide you this year? Look at that verse very well. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought. It no matter the economic recession, the Lord will satisfy your soul. Are you hearing me? Now, look at that place very well. And it said, and make fat thy bones. It see you today. Not only making fat you are born, the Lord will make you fat. Financially, spiritually, materially, in every area, the Lord will make you fat. If you believe it, say amen. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. Who is that person? Please answer me. Who shall be like a watered garden? Who, who, who? You see this year, the Lord will make you a watered garden. Everything about you shall flourish in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. Now look at that place very well. And like a spring of water, whose water fell not. He see you this year. Your water, your blessings, your glory shall never fail. If you believe it, say amen. If the Lord be for you, who can be against you? And what are you going to be in one? The Lord is my shepherd, is your shepherd, and you shall not be in want of anything this year in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. Let's go to point number two. And I begin to round up. One thing is certain, the Lord shall be with you. Point number two, our expected response and the confidence. We all should know that our Father in heaven is unlimited in every area. He is the unlimited. I'm not hearing you again. God is the unlimited God. Are you hearing me? He has power to do this or that. He can do and undo. With him, all things are possible. Are you hearing me? He see you. The unlimited God will go with you. And you shall never be limited in Jesus' name. He knows all things from now to the end of the year. Even to the end of the war. And has it mean to do good to the choosing people. In fact, the Lord will do you good. Do you believe it? He will do you good. And nothing can hinder the plan and program of God for you in Jesus' name. In the book of Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Jeremiah 29. Please look at your Bible. I read verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29. Reading verse 11. For I know, look at it. Verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Plan of God for you is good. And know what God is planning for you, thinking for you, is good. And I'm assuring you at the end of this life, God will give us heaven. And this year, the Lord will make you to see the end of this year. If you see this year, you will succeed this year. What you are not able to do all this year, this year you will do it in Jesus' name. Is there anything too hard for God to do? 
answer me now as long as the righteous child of God I'm born again living right doing the will of God I'm sure you God said that you said something to you in Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10 let's see what is it that God said that you said to you Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 10 look at your Bible and it says say ye to the righteous are you among them that it shall be well with you for they shall eat the fruit of their doing righteous people of God I want to say what God said that as you said to you this year it shall be well for you you shall eat the fruit of your doings in Jesus name is see this year ah your pastor will hear your testimony you 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 know somebody invited you here today am i right some of you may i inform you be ready prepare how to go and thank that person even if you are here thinking about it was by accident no it was the program of god from the beginning of the world that in a day like this you'll be here but somebody was an instrumental to link you here I'm assuring you, you will thank that person because now you are connected. Say amen. Did I say what? I didn't hear you again. He see you. As long as you are connected to the almighty God, all-powerful God, all-sufficient God, miracle-working God, wonder-working God, my friend, you are connected. Something will happen in your life in Jesus' name. So, I want to say to you again, it shall be well for you. Chosen people. Honestly, all the years people have been asking Christian, where is your God? But God raised the Lord choosing so that nobody can ask Christian, where is your God? Because they will see God in action. Not by struggle. In choosing, we don't live by struggle. Are you hearing me? But in choosing, you see the action God. Our God is a champion. Are you hearing me? And when you are associated with the champion, you become a champion. He see you this year. You shall walk in dominion. Are you getting ready? So as we go on to live right and do his will, serve him with all our heart and obey the totality of his word, he will be with us. And he shall be way with us in Jesus' name. In John chapter 8 verse 29. John chapter 8 verse 29. Please open your Bible. John chapter 8. Reading verse 29. And it reads. Chapter 8 verse 29. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. It says. He that sent me is with me. My father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. If you will really go on to do what pleases God this year, be truly born again and sanctified and endeavor to live right and evangelize and do the will of God in every area, the father will never leave you alone. But rather, he will do all things for you. He will give you all things. In the book of Matthew chapter 11, 27. Matthew chapter 11. Please open your Bible. I read verse 27. Chapter 11. Jesus said, He that sent me is with me. My father has not left me alone because I do always the things that please God. Let's see the benefit. Let's see what you gain by doing what is right, what pleases God. And for God being with you. Matthew chapter 11 verse 27 All things are delivered unto me of my father How many things? I didn't hear you very well You see this year You enjoy the miracle of all things All things are delivered unto me of my father And in fact And he says he's always with me 
there is something I want you to take note. If God be for you, who can be against you? That's what the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1 said. If God be for you, can that man destroy you? Can that witches and wizards destroy you? Some of them, you know, this program, as the program was, you know, was um, going on, we are planning for the program, they came here like birds. I don't know whether any one of you saw it. They came here like a bell, six beds. And they came here when we are sleeping. And the bed, they came here, strange beds. You know, trying to fight against the program. Trying to defy the altar. And the Lord kill all of them. None of them escaped. One died there, one died there, one died there. Look at them and they scream. You can see it by the scream. Look at your scream. All of them were slain. All of them. And there are some inside here preparing. And they were sending their tests. And I said, Pastor, you, uh, you, 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 all the people I sent there, you kill all of them. I said, that is the test coming into my phone now. But they said that this is an, I'm telling you they're looking for trouble. Any man, any kingdom, any power that will rise to contest this anointing, that power shall be slain. That power shall be destroyed. That kingdom shall be destroyed. He see you. The God whom I serve will follow you this year. He is the God of the chosen. The God of the chosen. The wonder walking God. The God who has power to do this or that. And what they cannot do does not exist. And so he said, You he said, we kill it. They are all their messengers. My friend, listen to me. Any power that will challenge you this year, that power shall be destroyed. That kingdom shall cease to operate. My Bible tells me in the covenant I have with God. He said that any nation and kingdom that shall not serve me, he said that kingdom shall perish and be utterly wasted. And any hand that rises against me shall wither for my sake. Any power rising against my people, that her power shall wither. That hand shall wither. Let me begin to round up. He see you. In the name of Jesus, I cross you over. Over hold, over barrier, over affliction, over poverty, over challenges, over contemporary, any enemy fighting you, I cross you over. I don't know what you are looking for. My Bible tells me, my God said, I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. You can never come here in vain. So, as a righteous child of God, there is nothing to worry about because you are in the program of the perfect will of God and you are protected. And all things are yours. In Luke chapter 15, verse 31. Luke chapter 15, and verse 31. Look at your Bible. And he says, 15, verse 31. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. What happened? And all I have is thine. All that belongs to God belongs to you. You will never be a beggar. You will never go down. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21. Look at your Bible. Chapter 3 and verse 21. And he said, Therefore, let no man glory in men. What happened? For all things are yours. How many? Please, sisters, answer me. My brethren, brothers, how many? All things are yours. From A to Z. 
So don't go into struggle and begging. My God, as you are qualified at the appointed time, my Father will visit you. I am very, very sure. It said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in, in glory by Christ Jesus. So, our confidence should be that as a righteous child of God, this year it shall be well for us. And if you are not one of us, please endeavor to do that today. I say to you, it shall be well for you. His blessings are sure for you as we go on to do the will of God. In fact, in Exodus 23, verse 25, let's see, I'm rounding up now. Exodus 23, and from verse 25, and it reads, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and it shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee, that shall nothing cast thee young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. He see you. Barrenness is not for you. Miscarriages is not for you. Short life is not for you. You will fulfill your years. Sickness is not for you. Are you hearing me? Poverty is not for you. The Lord will fulfill your years. In verse 27, I will send my fear before thee and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come and I will make all thy enemies turn their back unto thee. He see you this year. Your enemies shall turn their back from you. God will make them afraid. If you look at your Bible in the book of jo Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. I don't know what you have lost over the years. Spiritually, physically, materially or financially or otherwise. I don't know what you have lost. But don't worry. Those things are coming back. Verse 25, and I will restore to you, Joel chapter 2, verse 25, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, and dead wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. He see you. Whatever you are lost that make you to be ashamed, this year it shall be restored. And you shall eat in plenty. And you shall be satisfied. God Almighty will do it for you in Jesus' name. In the book of Haggai, Haggai chapter 2, Haggai chapter that too, I want to read verse 19. Remember, the book of Haggai is the book before uh, Zechariah, and Zechariah is the book before Malachi, and Malachi is the book before Matthew. Haggai chapter 2, verse 19. Verse 19. Is the is the Seed yet in the barn, yet as yet the vine, and the fig tree, and the pomegranate, and the olive tree had not brought forth from this day. Which day? Don't tell me it's not yet the time for the seed. Don't tell me that. From this day. Which day I will bless you. Did you read it very well? 
from which day? From which day? From which day? Get ready for your blessings. I'm not talking about tomorrow, but tomorrow shall be greater than today. So he will bless you spiritually, physically, materially, financially, and he will protect you. He will meet all your needs in Jesus' name. If you believe, he say, Amen. As I round up now, don't forget, a Christian is not a sinner, and a sinner is not a Christian. Are you hearing me? And my Bible tells me that God will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And it is never the will of God that any soul should perish. He loves you. He said, For God so loved the world, I gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth he should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, you need to search your life and ensure you are a Christian indeed. Are you hearing me? If you are not, you endeavor to be one of them today. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, I read 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8. He said, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that they might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for he still remains to him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. If you are born of God, you will not continue in sin. Are you hearing me? And what do you mean by being born of God? Be born again. Now, may I remind you, if you're asking what is sin, look at 1 John chapter 5, and verse 17a. He said, all unrighteousness is sin. Unbelief is sin. Unforgiveness is sin. Selfishness is sin. Anger is sin. Lying is sin. Pride is sin. And bitterness, keeping malice, bearing grudge, lusting after evil things, covetousness, love of money, love of the world. All unrighteousness is sin. You need to start your life speaking evil of other people, murmuring, backbiting, insincerity, unfaithfulness. All these things are terrible sin. Causing people, swearing with heaven and earth, Watch me, I do. Make an I do. Have an I do. Your heart is a terrible sin. You need to search your life. Going into the native doctors and to patronize them for divination, for pain reading, or going to the, you know, to, to consult the dead. Repent. These things are terrible sins. If they have given you anything, burn them. If you have altar for evil spirit, for marine spirit, burn them. For, for any kind of evil, demonic spirit, burn them and mend your ways. And if you belong to a secret court or open court, marine court, witchcraft court, local or international court, renounce them. That's not power there. Gather all their property and burn them. And if you are consulting seven book of Moses or magical book, burn them. Have nothing to do with them anymore. And if you are into stealing, any kind of stealing, whether you know picking pockets, whether you are into um, you know uh, breaking home of people, packing their loot, or you are into armed robbery, any kind of stealing, or you are into fraud, you do black people, white people, you do government, you do. Repent to and say, Lord, I am sorry. And if you are dupe or you are criminal, a thief, we don't need your money in the offering in this show. I've been telling you, you should know it. I mean, you are ways. You need to search your life. All those into uh, masturbation, fornication, adultery, homosexual, lesbianism. All this is a terrible sin. You need to renounce them and promise God no more. Or you enter prostitution, whether international or local. Or you patronize a prostitute. 
These are terrible sins. Or you commit abortion, you kill unborn baby. Repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I will do it no more. Amend your ways. Now is acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. Maybe you are into hired assassin, or you are into ritual killing, or you are into kidnapping and killing, or you are into banditry. Banditry. Uh, you are among those that are, you know, killing people, you know, collecting their property. Repent and amend your ways. Now is an acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. All those that are fighting and quarreling beating their wife these things are terrible sin or you are fighting your husband or you are among those people listening to me very well working for people you don't do the work and you are collecting salary that is sin or you don't pay those working for you that is sin or you give bribe or take bribe and stop money from people because of a uniform because of your position that is sin or you are among those that enter smuggling, that is sin. Or you take snuff or smoke cigarette or India hem or cocaine or heroin, that is sin. Or you sell it or you buy it for people, repent and promise God no more. Or you take alcoholic drinks, um, white mimo bruko to beer, hot drinks, or uh, maybe you sell it or buy it for people, repent. Whether you take it one percent or half percent, that's sin. Repent and promise God no more. And mend your ways. Or you bleach your body and become yellow overnight, that is sin. Or you're among those people that are into wrong marriage, you marry and divorce. That is sin. Or you're into polygamous marriage. Look at their Bible. In Matthew chapter 19 and verse 4. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And I read. Look at your Bible. And it says, And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. Wherefore, there are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now, listen to me. If you're a second wife or third wife, you have no husband. You need to pack your load and go and leave the house for the owner. And if a man that married them three, two, four, five, my friend, what are you doing with them? Remove the second and third and fourth wife and return your first wife. And if you are saying the way a fourth wife, my friend, reconcile and bring her back. Because there is no amendment in heaven. Amen now. Amen your ways. Marriage is between a man and a woman until they do your part. And if they have not separated you, don't separate it. For what God has joined together, let no man put us on and you see all these people that paint their hands and paint their leg, paint their mouth and paint their eyes and put extra finger, extra eye, extra nose, attachment with on farming, earrings or jewelry or bango. You make up your body. That is sin. You don't need the makeup at all, at all. Or you dress to expose your chest, your armpit, your tummy. Or you're a young man that do Jericho, rough hair, scatter hair. You play the hair like a woman. That's abomination. And my Bible tells me in the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? So they go after paint and after ornament. Whenever a woman or a man are spoiled, you begin to make up. You don't need to make up. I mean, you are ways. You see all these women that are wearing trousers and all these men that are wearing skirt and blouse. That is sin. And the Bible calls it abomination. In Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. I read, If you are dressing like that, that is abomination. Look at your Bible. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Now, shall a man put on woman's garment for all that do so. An abomination on the Lord thy God. The award, abomination. An abominable person cannot enter heaven. Look at Revelation 21. I read verse 8. Revelation 21 and verse 8. Look at your Bible. And it says, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which born with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 
all such people shall be cast into hell fire. I pray that hell fire shall never be your portion. Remember, my Bible tells me, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso that confess them and forsake them, that person shall be forgiven. Are you hearing me? I mean your ways. God has made a provision for the sins that are past. And in Exodus chapter 12, chapter 12 verse 13, he said, When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And remember, that is a symbolic figure of the blood of Jesus, which is to come in the New Testament. Because if you go to the New Testament, in John chapter 1, please look at this place. So we begin to conclude. In John chapter 1 and verse 29, this is the blood, the actual blood, and this is the lamb. By whose blood are sins are washed away. Verse 29. The next day, John said, Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the lamp of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Who is that lamb? And in John chapter 3, verse 3, he goes ahead to explain. He said, For God so loved the world, I gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth he should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in John chapter 19, verse 30, he said, when he shared the blood, he said, it is finished. That's the end of all sacrifice for sin. Say it is all over. And in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not a way, no other option. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And he said in John chapter 10, verse 10, B, I come that them I have life, I have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, verse 36, he said, If the Son therefore shall make us free, we shall be free indeed. And no wonder, in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He didn't say, Come to us, he said, Come to me. And if you look at the Bible in John chapter 1, verse 12, he said, But as many as receive him, to them give him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As you receive Jesus today, God will give you power or sonship. You shall become a child of God in Jesus' name. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And finally, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Rise up and let us pray. Rise up and let us pray. Confess your sins and repent of them and ask for the mercy of God. I will pray for you. From this day, God will bless you. Open your mouth and pray. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Ask for mercy, ask for grace for amendment, ask for mercy. Everybody pray, oh Lord, have mercy upon us. We are sorry for every unrighteous thought or waste or action or disposition. Forgive us, we are sorry. We have done evil before, we do it, we shall do it no more. Forgive us and save us. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands upon your chest. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus, I'm praying for you. Now, that person that's into smoking and drinking, promise God no more. The person that's into armed robbery, promise God no more. That person that's into, you know, you're a dupe, a fraudster. Stop that evil. And God will show you mercy. The person that is into, you know, adultery, Repent and say, God, I'm sorry. And the, the one that killed unborn baby, and you that comes from the hotel as a prostitute, don't go there anymore. Promise God, no more homosexual, lesbianism, no more wickedness anymore. Now say this word after me Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you. I will not, never continue in them anymore. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. 
Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ, wash my sins away from my heart. I plead the blood of Jesus. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my personal savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, keep your two hands up and sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, to Jesus, bless the Savior. I surrender. Just one more time. To Jesus, bless the Savior. Keep your hands up. Heavenly Father, I come in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I present this, my beloved brethren, before you. Whatsoever they have done against you, against humanity, Known and unknown to them, Father, in your heart, remember me. See every yoke of power that makes them to do evil by authority. I break that power, I break that yoke in Jesus' name. From this moment, I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. Cancel their name in the book of death, write their name in the book of life. Give them power to sing no more in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Or you open your mouth. Tell the Lord what he wants him to do for you this year. Tell him that you are qualified. You are qualified. Tell the Lord whatever you want God to do for you. Tell it to him. You are qualified. You are qualified. Pray. In Jesus' name we'll pray. Now keep your hands up. If you have the temporary request, lift it up. My daddy, I present every of these requests before heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray let their request be granted in Jesus' name. I pray for you. From this day, in the name of Jesus, whom I serve, I bless you. That person who has been having complication in your body, a lot of problem here and there. My friend, you are not sick. It's evil spirit. I rebuke that spirit and I discharge you from that affliction in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? amen? And I pray for you. I see you. That enemy troubling you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God, whom I serve, will defeat that enemy. I see you. All that proposal, all that expectation this year concerning your career, concerning your business, concerning your office, I decree that it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. And I pray for this person, you will not die a day before your death. You will fulfill your years in Jesus' name. And I pray for you all that ganging up against you, I disorganize them. I pray for victory on every side for you in Jesus' name. That strange woman, I command to be uprooted in Jesus' name. In that your marriage, 
I declare peace, yeah. unity, progress. That yoke of barrenness for 18 years, I break it in Jesus' name. Yeah. And you have been barren for some time now. And they say you can't have child against the lie. I can't so barrenness. Receive your bouncing baby boy in Jesus' name. You looking for twins? Collect those twins now. It, it is done. That delay in marriage, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I command the husband to come your way. My daddy, all these pains that this person have been nursing here and there at the west, at the ribs, and all that pain in your chest, I cancel them in Jesus' name. That kidney stone, I command to put it in Jesus' name my father all i'm asking you for this individual victory will follow you do you believe it now i pray for miracle employment for this person from now to 15th in jesus name wherever they are blocking your way blocking your business I command that road be open in Jesus' name. Wherever they took your name to, I pass judgment on them. I command them to be destroyed in Jesus' name. My father, I request for the angels, archangel with drawn sword, to go before these ones everywhere, every place. For I give them victory in Jesus' name all that evil dream every time i cost those dreams i decree that shall never have been fed in your life in jesus name my daddy let that hyena be removed and let that uh, terrible cough be cancelled and let that affliction in your neck be healed I cause that mouth also wound in Jesus' name. My daddy, this woman has been terribly sick. Today I cause the whole sickness. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. That your abandoned project, I pray, it shall be built by miracle. Father, provide for them in Jesus' name. And I pray, Daddy in glory, I'm asking for promotion, promotion, exhortation, promotion. Father, promote my people to honor in Jesus' name. Any mouth that will rise to condemn my people in the name of Jesus, I condemn that mouth. Father, intervene, preserve them in Jesus' name. All they have mentioned now, from A to Z, Father, I declare it all. From this day, I bless you spiritually, physically, materially, financially. I bless you above your equals. I bless you in Jesus' name. That long expected contract, let it be delivered to you in Jesus' name. Daddy, as they will live here today, as many of them that you will bring here tomorrow, Lord, unfold your determination this year and bring it to pass their life in Jesus' name. I believe that many of you will be here tomorrow because if you cannot be here tomorrow, you will have missed today and come tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the greatest. Just close your eyes now. Close your eyes. Praise the Lord. Close your eyes. Every way. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everywhere. 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 everywhere
receive divine visitation now divine visitation everywhere let the angel move into operation move into operation move into operation divine visitation divine visitation if you can with them 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 then follow them if you can with them follow them if you can with them divine visitation divine visitation divine visitation divine visitation divine visitation lose them and set them free connect them and favor them make a way where there's no way for them father intervene father intervene father intervene let the expectation be granted in jesus name everywhere they bound you and lose you lord show them a sign keep quiet something is about to happen there anywhere they are sitting on you any kingdom any shrine any river anywhere i command deliverance i command deliverance i command intervention i command deliverance expect your collect your miracle collect it claim your freedom claim your husband claim your wife claim your children whatever you have lost i command that to restore back to you Your miracle is now. If there is any way you have any problem, you are about to tap it three times. Tap it. Any sickness, any affliction, any trouble, tap it three times. And I declare you free in Jesus' name. Tomorrow, bring everybody around you. Bring the blind, the deaf, the dumb, the afflicted, the oppressed. Tomorrow is the final day. Bring 12 prayer requests. Tomorrow, if I empty everywhere, bring them here tomorrow. Come and see wonders. That's the only thing I will tell you. And I, I will hear your testimony tomorrow. You are blessed in Jesus' name. I declare financial miracle alert. Connection blessings in Jesus' name. And it is amen in heaven. I'm the God of choosing answer prayer.